Minnesota's Public Safety Commissioner says right now there are no credible threats against the state capitol. But state leaders today laid out their plan to keep the peace in case weekend protests turn violent. John Croman's live with how they plan to keep Minnesotans safe. John. Hey, Lauren, right now the name of the game is abundance of caution. That's why local, state and federal officials are coordinating to just make sure they're ready for the worst case scenario. No doubt about it, they're getting ready for protests to get out of hand this weekend, but so far it's just out of caution. There are still no credible threats to the Minnesota State Capitol. Last year, President Trump singled out Minnesota on social media, and in late December, the FBI issued an alert that the Boogaloo Boys, a group that wants to fight a second civil war, may be headed here. DPS Commissioner John Harrington called that information outdated. Since that time, circumstances have changed, uh, and we are uh, turning over every rock and looking under every bush to see if there is anything else out there. Uh, but I can tell you that the FBI is not finding any credible local threats. The overriding message from the state's top officials, the National Guard and St. Paul's top leaders, was that the capital city will be safe. We are not panicking. We are concerned. We are alert. And we are prepared. I want you to know that you are safe. You are in good hands. That's not to say they're not unhappy to be in this position. Should be one of the most joyous days in our democracy, the peaceful transfer of power from one elected official to another. And um, shame on this country if we try and normalize what's happening here. So the peaceful protest will go on and they will do everything they can to respect people's rights to protest. But again, they are staying ready to act quickly if it gets out of hand and if they see actual acts of violence or threats of violence. And late today, Lauren, we hear that the uh, federal court system, U.S. District Court in Minnesota, has decided to close all three federal court courthouses, the ones in Duluth, St. Paul and Minneapolis, through next Wednesday, uh, get past Inauguration Day because of these generalized threats. Back to you. All right, John, thank you.